I'm Celine Dion also giving us an update about her life and living with stiff person syndrome. This in an interview on American television last night. CTV's Tony Grace has a recap of some of her ongoing ordeal. And Tony, we're really getting uh, some more insights. So, so any new revelations from Celine's interview last night on NBC with, with Hoda? Oh, guys, in particular, one thing that Celine Dion shared, and I don't think she shared this in her diagnosis when she opened up a couple of years ago about having this rare neurological disease, stiff person syndrome, is that she's been battling the symptoms for 17 years. And in fact, Celine Dion was experiencing what she thought was just irritation in her throat, uh, tightness, stiffness, uh, perhaps thinking it was exhaustion or it was some kind of a cold or, or other type of illness. But no, it would be well over a decade. In fact, 15 years later, when she she would finally get that diagnosis. So 17 years experiencing the symptoms and doing everything she could to hide it from fans so she could keep performing. Everything from lowering the pitch and key of her songs to, you know, holding the mic out to crowds more and having them sing along, finding precious seconds to be able to cope with the symptoms. And guys, I want to share a clip with you that really stood out from that interview because Celine Dion said she was in, in such a dark place. She was in, in such a tunnel trying to find a way forward here while she had no answers for more than a decade that she turned to Valium to cope with the symptoms and she was taking up to 90 milligrams of Valium a day. Have a listen. 90 milligrams of Valium can kill you. You can stop breathing. And at one point, the thing is that my body got used to it at 20 and 30 and 40 until it went up. Mm. And I needed that. It was relaxing my whole body but for what, for two weeks, for a month? Okay, the shimmer's gone, you go, I'm fine. But then, it, you, you get used to you it. Get used to it, so it doesn't more, work you anymore. More, more, more. more. And guys, all of this while Celine Dion was not only trying to figure out what was going on, but was dealing in those intervening years with her husband's cancer diagnosis, his death, her brother's death shortly after that, and trying to explain this all to her children and, and just function as a family while she was in demand for these performances around the world. A very revealing interview, guys, as Celine Dion tries to shed some light as well on the path forward. Yeah, I heard her say, Tony, in that chat that she wants to, uh, if she needs to, she will crawl onto the stage. But the determination, Tony, <laughs> yeah. definitely there to get back, right? That's what she's well, basically saying is next. Well, that's right. And, and you know, during the interview with Hoda Kotb, she kept breaking into song as well. And you can <laughs> tell that, you know, the fire is there, the passion is there. So as for what's next, she's working with a specialist in Colorado. This, there's no cure for stiff person syndrome, but it can be managed through mm -hmm. immunotherapy, through drug therapies for symptoms, physio. She's working on all that one day at a time you know you do too much and it can have a negative effect you do too little and it can have a negative effect mm. so this is a very very delicate path forward but yes Celine Dion determined in some way shape or form to get back out there on the stage promising her fans guys she will be back she will not lose her voice and that this will not be a loss but a gaining of knowledge for her as she tries to find the next step here mm -hmm. yeah here's hoping uh, to mm -hmm. a fast recovery or some relief so she can get back to doing what she does best and loves. Thanks so much. CTV's Tony Grace. Appreciate Thank you it. Guys.